Hello everyone and welcome to another Warframe video. I'm your host, Jay, also known as Fox. And I can but only apologise for this video being a tad bit late. We've actually isolated the issue that I've been having with um, Warframe, with the stutter and whatnot. And it turns out it was my uh, update, which was Windows <laughs> 11 24H2. So we've now decided... Uh, moving forward to have less issues and just go back to Windows 10. But anyway, enough of that. We're back and basically we've finished the main story. And what we're going to be doing moving forward is clearing up uh, a lot of the side quests, nodes and whatnot. And currently on the Codex, we are up to a mission that requires, I think it's the Jordas Precept. We do indeed need to raft potent feralac pods in the foundry i did do the first little bits on a video yesterday but it completely messed up it all got destroyed uh the audio was off and everything i can but apologize i've had nothing but issues but moving forward there's going to be no more uh we're going to be doing a lot more content so if you do enjoy today's video, consider subscribing, uh, ringing the post notification bell, giving it a thumbs up and all that good jazz. And we're going to get on with this. Now, there are going to probably be edits within today's video as we're now up to farming and whatnot. I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to see hours upon hours upon hours of me farming. We are just going to have a little bit of a look here and just see um, what we've got here to make. So, um, I'm actually trying to play on a controller today. So, bear with me. As I've not played on a controller on Warframe on PC before. So, I fancy giving it a go. Um... Acquire materials to build new items. So it's looking like we don't have the materials, or do we? It's looking like we have the materials to make fang. So we'll build that up. And what is this? So we've got no Warframes currently. We are going to be farming up some Warframes and stuff. And I am um, looking for the next couple of episodes. Just uploading in 1080p for a couple of reasons. One, it's very fast for me to render. Uh, saves a lot of disk space. And I'll be able to get content up a lot quicker on the channel. Uh, and on top of that, I am looking at moving my live stream from Twitch over to YouTube and doing some set times each day where... I'm going to organize sort of Warframe streams, retro game streams, and other things like that. So if that interests you, feel free to drop by. Let's have a look here. So I have been told that I need to do quests within the void to get these... Um, items that I do require, which are... Let me refresh my memory. Are they, they're not the Orokin reactors, are they? What, what are they called? So many different items within the game. Verilac pods, where are you? Let's just uh, type this in. It probably saved me a little bit of time. Right, so we need the Argon crystals. That's right. So we've got to do missions within the void. So we'll make our way there now and also i do want to be unlocking these new nodes here oh, i don't know which missions would be optimal for trying to get the argon crystal so we are just going to try a mission out here if it does indeed take a long, 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 long time to get the components required to move forward with the quest, we may edit a little bit of it out and whatnot. 
So we are going to be trying to play on a controller for today's session. Oh, have we got one already? Did we get one? Yes, we got one, guys. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. There's a heavy unit approaching. So that's all good. My God, it's so weird on the controller of this game. It just feels strange. Holy moly. Let's go on the offensive. The air is quite nice, though. I will consider what I've learned from this skirmish. Okay. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Whoa. I may have to lower my sense down a little bit here. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. Um, so just bear with me. Let's uh, knock this down to about 20. Uh, let's try that, maybe. Okay, that's a little bit more manageable, I think. So it's L1 to bullet jump. Okay. So pretty happy about that. We got one straight off the rip. Yesterday, I did do about two hours worth farming, and I actually didn't get one, which is kind of insane. Um... Let's go. So I'm not going to lie, the aim assist is pretty dope, um, actually. It's very good. So we may lower down my... We'll see how we get on uh, with it. The enemy is broken. Currently. Well done. Now get to extraction. So, I've been having a few uh, problems with my Warframe content and where I'm going to go with it, and Come on. things haven't been going amazingly well in life and whatnot. I mean, it is what it is. I'm new to this YouTube palaver, and it, if it could go wrong, it has gone wrong. It's been a great learning experience, uh, to say the least, but yeah, it has been a little bit painful, and we have had some teething issues. I think a lot of it has sadly been down to Windows 11, uh, which I've had nothing but issues with since I started using it. Uh, so we've just finally decided, hey, enough's enough. Let's just go back to what works. And yeah, here we are. Now I'm going to be keeping an eye on the content. As uh, 1080p can be hit or miss on YouTube. But I do believe a lot of my viewership watch on mobile devices uh, and 1080p monitors regardless. So I think uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it goes. So we did actually get an Argon Crystal there, which is very, very good. Very happy about that. We're going to jump uh, straight back in. Uh, uh, let's have a look. We try this one, exterminate. Hey, why not? Let's go. Let's just vote on this. Uh, what? Did I just vote against myself? Let's see if they want to do it. They may do, they may not. I don't know if these are random people that have joined me or viewers. Not entirely sure. But I will say one thing's for certain. Warframe caps at 60 FPS uh, in Windows 10. Seems to be perfectly fine. I have my 4080 Super uncapped. I'm getting like six, 700 FPS and it's like absolutely messing with the game. Like the average like 350 and it was just completely like, everything was just going mental. You aren't the first ones here. I'm detecting multiple enemy signatures and they're all, right, all let's under go. The control of the tower. Eliminate the threat. So the reason why I've actually decided to go to a controller is that now we're, we're, we're kind of in farm mode um, and unlocking stuff. And I just kind of feel that like it's a little bit more relaxing for me. But I know YouTube's full of opinionated little, little lovely people. <laughs> if you hate controller players, I do apologize. Um, the Grenier should have known better than to walk But I do like to relax unprepared. sometimes when I game. And I find controller more relaxing than mouse and keyboard. I can sit back, you know, kick my feet up and just chill and talk to you guys and it's uh, all good in the hood. Should have also resolved my audio issues. 
Um, I'm currently saving up for a Shure SM7B microphone. Um, but I think I've got the mic sorted now, finally. Which I've had umpteen issues with. And it's just all been holding me back, uh, content-wise. I want, I want to focus on the games, you know? I want to focus on what matters. I don't want to be focusing on, on equipment and... It's been a real, real bind for me. But we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. And that's what matters. Alright, let's go. Boink. Love it. It's so focus. smooth. There's a heavy unit approaching. It's nice that everything's actually working. Let's go. So the real question is, how do I... Oh, he's my D-pad. Radial Howell. Oh, right. So that's how we do it. We change with the D-pad. Okay, okay. Right. So if any of you guys have been following from the beginning of the series, you'll remember that I often only use this ability on Excalibur. Now, the reason for that was I've just realized that when I was playing on PS5, um, before I upgraded my PC, <laughs> you literally have to change the, uh, the abilities with your D-pad, and if you don't, it will literally only use um, the last ability selected. So when I press R1, it's literally only doing one ability, unless I switch it up. Um, so that'll be possibly why I was doing such things. All right, let's go. Hopefully we're gonna get an Argon Crystal from this run. I'm gonna keep majority of the stuff in, what's uh, relevant and whatnot. I know you guys do like to see my epic fails and whatnot. I find it rather entertaining. So I'm gonna try and keep the editing to a minimum, but um, of course, if it's just me farming for absolutely ages and not getting, oh, here we go. Oh, nice finisher. Oh, what's going on? Why am I invisible? It's kind of crazy, right? Is that supposed to happen? I'm not entirely sure. So I think, did I do some kind of ability there? I don't recall having this stealth ability you on this frame. They say. The road to good intentions be paid with hell. Mercy, mercy, mercy. So we are going to be doing some retro Let's Plays. Uh, we're currently doing Star Wars Outlaws as well. And a few other bits and bats um, for the channel. I've turned invisible again. Oh, I think it's my ability. Okay. It's like a little bit of getting used to this. I'm afraid. Boink. Let's go. For the tenno. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Oh damn. I just got kicked. What? Yeah. Slice and dodge, baby. We don't appear to be getting Argon Crystals this time. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. But then again, I mean, we were pretty lucky to get one straight away. I played for like two and a half hours yesterday and got nothing. It was most disappointing. I've got two guys here just not doing anything. I think. Oh, here we go. Move these suckers, mow these suckers down. Sorry. Woo! Calm down. Seems like we're not getting one this run. Maybe we'll get one at the end. Not entirely sure. Hopefully, we will. Let's go. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Ooh. Yeah, bang. Many things have been taken from us. It's true. 
but fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the so bold. bold Bang. Yes. I love the little excuse. I think they're awesome. Oh my god, why do I keep getting knocked over? Is it these bloody circle things? Let's uh gotta go up this way maybe. Okay. Got him. Move and strike. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So perhaps we'll get one for simply finishing this mission. We may just have to try another one. Maybe have a little bit more look that way. We are just waiting for a player here, which is fine. But I have got some uh, cool retro Let's Plays and whatnot lined up. Custom versions of Metal Gear Solid, Ocarina of Time, and a few other games that I absolutely adore from back in the day. Uh, we've got some Diablo 4 news and whatnot coming up. And I'm just playing about with a few different things, but do not fear, I am still playing Warframe, as you can see right now. And what is this dude doing? Or dudette? Could be a girl. Hello. Can you come and leave, please? I am recording here. Meow. Looks like we are just gonna have to wait. Damn. Looks like we've got a good minute here to wait. Thankfully, the idle animations on this Warframe are sick. But yeah, I don't know what it is about the game, but it feels totally different on Windows 10. Like, it feels like everything's working as intended. Which is great, really. I mean, I was having input delay, lags, audio spikes, problems with OBS. Like, recording this game was an absolute nightmare. Like, I'm not even going to lie. No idea what this person is doing. Maybe they are searching around for Argon Crystals. Not entirely sure. But if this type of thing does continue, we will have to solo queue it, sadly. I do like playing with other players, but... You know, it is what it is. I think if there is a lot of farming to do after this... Ooh, flying through the air. What I may do is get a live stream going. Either on YouTube or Twitch. I am thinking about moving my live stream over to YouTube full time. And um, yeah, possibly farming with the community and whatnot. Getting all the bits and bats together. And then uh, maybe doing videos out of the core missions. Or maybe even making videos out of the VODs. Who knows? There are options available. Um, so mobile defense, sabotage, defense. Shame we can't do these, really. We could possibly do with... Um, well, that's not the way, is it? Hold up. Is it series? Series? So. So it's looking like we have to do Sedina to get to here, which would require us to work through some of these nodes. So perhaps. We will just work through the nodes, actually. And possibly farm up the crystals later. Um, we do need to unlock these nodes regardless. Um, it's obviously going to give us more options for farming void crystals. Oh. 
There is a large platoon of Grenier Marines stationed here. Leave no one standing. Okay, Roger that. We can avoid alerting them. This might be easier. Come on. Nice. Just slice and dice action, baby. There we go. Beautiful. I mean, I don't know if the crystals can actually drop on other missions. Well, perhaps. Um, could be interesting to find out if they are an exclusive item to the void or if there are indeed other options for unlocking um, the item, the Argon Crystal, um, separately. I also need to start leveling up uh, my focus stuff and my... Oh dear, I fell off. And my... Are they called syndicates? They're not called syndicates, are they? The factions um, that I'm currently not i've not really bothered with because i've been following the main story but i really need to possibly get on top of that really start getting the items and whatnot off those rep farming and whatnot stay focused there's a heavy unit approaching got a little bit of focus there move and strike we have to win this okay bypass Oh dear. Oh my god, it's all going wrong. There we go. I normally have the auto auto breach on. Not quite sure why that's not on currently. Maybe I've run out. Yeah, we're in an ammo system after all. focus over it I think I might even be a cap on focus so I probably need to spend it to be fair I've not um, really looked into it in a while let's go, let's go. We also need to max out the Grimoire, I think. Or it might be maxed already, actually. I'm not entirely sure. It's definitely time for us to be looking at where we can expand our portfolio of items, mods, levels, etc. So over the coming weeks, hopefully, we're going to be able to do that oh dear mercy 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 what let's go oh dear I fell off <laughs> I'm forever bloody doing that. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Attack us and we will counter. Attack us and we will counter. I also believe there is a Warframe. You have broken their ranks 1999 the demo out. Another successful mission. Uh, which I may cover as well. I think it could be pretty good for the channel. Let's go on the offensive. I'm not entirely sure how we actually unlock it. A friend of mine in the community has done it already, I believe. Uh, shout out to Loki. I think he uh, did it the other day. But I don't think he wanted to spoil it for me, so... But I do need to actually figure out how to... Um, how to get into that. Mission complete. 
Excellent and perhaps work, cover it because I think it'd be quite good. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be uh, a pretty, pretty bang on expansion sort of. Is that? I mean, is it an expansion patch? I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. So, did we unlock, did that unlock a new one? I think it did. Perhaps an inversion? Support the corpus, support the grenier? No, not entirely sure. Um... We'll just pick one here. I'm sure y'all will tell me which one I should have cho chosen and which is the better option. But as I do not know, I have just picked uh, the Grenier. So here we go. Let's do this. You are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. Okay. Strike. We have to win this. That's pretty tanky, actually. So we got a fast, a fast, the uh, speedy boy over here. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Let's go. Let's go. Mission complete. The captain oh, has nice. been escorted to the extraction point. My god, that was well pretty done. easy. I will consider what I've learned from this skirmish. Definitely a little bit easier than I anticipated though. Slice through these bad boys. Oh, I got knocked down again. I'm always getting knocked down. For the Tenno. For the tenno. On fire. The hell? Did I, did I actually die though? I don't. What the? It's kind of insane. Man, you they are doing quite a bit of damage. We are going to try and get our way out, make our way out of here before we die again, hopefully. Um, not entirely sure which way we're supposed to go. It looks like it's down here. Okay. Keep on pushing forward. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. One of my weaknesses in games is my sense of direction. And in Warframe, my my god, I get lost a lot. But I suppose you already know that. If you've been watching my videos for a long time. Let's go. Yeah. We're not currently one-shotting these, so definitely the difficulty is increasing across the board with each new world and faction and planet we unlock. Uh, so we do need to be a little bit more cautious, perhaps. Another job well executed. Another job well executed, Tenno. Well, thank you. So, we can just move straight on to the next one. I will investigate, like, whether we need to be maxing these ones out. Uh, I do need to set some time aside to speak to some of the community. 
uh, regarding about where I should be going and what I should be doing moving forward. Um, as I trust their judgment, some of them are long-term veteran players. Been playing all right since the start. So, you know, they know a little... They know a few things. They know a few things. That's all I can say. They know, they know some things. They'd be very knowledgeable in the world of Warframe. This is a mobile defense mission. And uh, I do trust their judgment. The go, let's go. Into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. But we are going to see it moving forward. If I can get more content up regularly. Now fix me issues and, you know, we're, we're rendering out in 1080p. I'm hoping... We're going to be able to move things forward. Let's go. Uh, keep the content a lot more regulated and regular. This will only get more difficult. Get to a and to a high standard as well, of course. Resistance. Only the best for my community. That's what I say. Yeah. Let's see what we've got to Attack grab it. Oh, oh da, 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 da. I, there's a hall. I always seem to fall down it. Get me in and get ready to defend. Okay. Where's the terminal at? My god, things are hitting harder at the moment. They're bloody everywhere, mate. You slash through these. Bar ourselves a bit of breathing room here. So I have been uh, playing Diablo 3 and they've got something called the Pit, which is basically a never-ending sort of scale of difficulty. And I do believe Warframe has something similar. Is it called the Path or something? Uh, which I'm quite interested to try out. This is taking way too long. Whoa! Right, okay, we'll just start the terminal here. Oh, man, I'm dead. I'm dead. What? Like, what the hell? Why is data mass? Where's the data mass? Oh, dear me. Where do I get the data mass? Oh, my God. I've left it behind. I'm such a noob. Oh, dear me. Well, it helped me we brought that along, I think. Oh dear me. Oh, we fell off again. Um, let's have a look at our map. So we go uh, down Stay here. Focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. You're still in the clear. No detection from enemy sensors. You don't understand why we haven't picked this up. There we go. We are not. Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. If it's useful, do it. Obviously, we're going to be getting quite a bit of battle pass XP here as well. Oh, hello. Hello, cheeky. Calm yourself. We need to make our way forward to the terminal. Let's go, let's go. Would have helped if we would have picked this up from the get-go, I think. Right, here we go. Let's go. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Alright. Let's go. Slice and dice these fools. Got it. Let's go. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Got you, Doug, on this. Nope. There we go. 
Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Oh, damn. Nice. Area completed. Nice. Move on. on to the next one. Oh my god. Like, why am I dying? I'm so bad. Keep keep it together. Okay. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. Location reached, eh? There we go. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Holy moly. I just can't believe we died again. Stay focused. There's a game's actually becoming a challenge again. We're no longer as strong as we were. We really need to up our ante, I think. Up the ante, up the game. Get some more uh, damage mods on the scene. Mercy, mercy, mercy. That's some strong uh, mofo right there. Holy shit. Oh, dead again. What the hell was zapping me there? Was it that guy? Mercy, mercy, mercy. What? Right, we've got one more. We can't die again here. Marines inbound. Should uh, keep moving here. And we fail. What a goddamn shame. We suck, man. We suck. But with that mission failure, I'm going to call it there for today's episode. A little bit short and sweet. But what I am planning on doing is sorting out some live streams, farming with the community, getting the Argon Crystals. And then in the next episode, which should be tomorrow, 
we will make the fur relax pods and move forward with the quest. Um, as I'm a little bit limited for time today, so I do apologise. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, comment, like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment, all that good jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next one.